Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes, Thunder Chief Field in action. Just adjust it right. Alright, I got all my parts primed again last night. They just, they needed another round of filling. They was uh, still a little on the rough side. But, that's only uh, three coats of primer from uh, rough glass. I mean rough glass, so that's not bad. We can live with that. I'm still going with the 220. I got them pretty good. I just need to, they're flat. Now this is just to rough them up a little. Then we're going to put our pen lines on. Hey, you know, uh, 0757 seat warmer out there, man. Hey, we appreciate your concern. You know, we really do. But uh, this ain't the first airplane to ever fly on a rocker system. Uh, uh, there's lots of airplanes out there that flew on a rocker system. The F-100 had a rocker system. The 105 uh, F-4s uh, flew on a rocker system. Uh, I don't know if you ever seen a Skymaster F-4 or Jet Legend, but all of them are set up on a rocker system. Uh, my T-45 set up on a rocker system. Uh, it's not that big an issue. You know, we're not moving the, 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 the high lift point on that stab. We're not, that's not moving. That, that shaft is staying in position while, uh, the elevator's just rocking. And uh, I'm not sure of all the airplanes out there that are set up on a rocker system. <laughs> but there's, there's bunches. Okay. And uh, there's actually a 105 right by Butch's house that's in pieces. Uh, you know, and uh, they went over there and they have documented this so good. They have just tons of pictures and I could show you probably 20 25 pictures of this elevator set up and I'll, I'll do that on on my next video I'll get my computer out and I'll show you guys but they have really done their homework on this and all we did is kind of simplified the system and put a servo on each side still set up the same rocker the, we ain't moving the, the mean lift point on the stab uh, you know, that's staying in the one place, but, you know, I'm not insulting anybody's intelligence. I'm not trying to get into a bunch of drama. Uh, but uh, we have done our homework on this, and that butch, man, that man has forgotten more about airplanes than the rest of us will ever hope to know, you know, and... Uh, I just don't ever question anything Butch has to say. I mean, you know, Butch don't, st let's clear this up right now, okay? Butch is a good guy, man. I really like Butch. He's a good person, got a big heart, kind of bullheaded, <laughs> but, but who ain't? And, uh, you know, he don't sit back there and, uh, tell us what to do. You know, he's, uh. Anytime we need to know something, he's just a phone call away, you know, and he's just not a, you know, he ain't standing back shouting commands, and uh, he's just, he's a nice guy, man, I like old Butch, and I don't want to get any drama fired up about old Butch, and, uh, you know, or I don't want, you know, this is for everybody, you know, and we like your comments. And I uh, appreciate your concern. And uh, we're going for it. <laughs> you know, if it don't, then we can sit back and say, well, that one was wrong. But, you know, that's why I'm, I'm not painting that airplane. That's why I'm just going to throw one together and get it in the air. You know, and if something happens, God forbid, but... You know how that stuff will go, so I'll come home and lay me up another one. We'll come back and watch the video, try to figure out what happened, you know. And, uh, but, you know, I ain't going to sit there and worry about that elevator. It's, it's fine, and I 
But I sure don't want any hard feelings over it either. You know, we appreciate your guys' comments. We like them. Butch <laughs> tunes in regular just to see the comments. <laughs> He'll watch video ten times. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, man, that Butch is... That man's a pretty sharp pencil himself. And let's just sit back and see if it works. You know? But, I do have these three parts all done. I just got this one to do, and guess what? The Baba wife went to visit her mom. <laughs> so you know what that means. Oh yeah, party's on. We got the History Channel cranked up. <laughs> and we got some Port sand in action. Kind of loafing a little today. A little wore out, man. That's sanding. It's a rough old job, but I'm gonna stick with it, man. I'm just gonna. I want all these little parts done and out of the way. Then we can get to some building us Thunder Chief, daggone it. I'll make y'all another movie when I get to putting on these lines. We got one more part to sand. Then I'm all out of uh, urethane primer. Kind of low on funds after buying that bucket of resin. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my epoxy primer to put on these panel lines and hope it sands off. <laughs> No, it'll sand. The question is, how easy will it sand? Man, them parts are flat. They are so flat. There's not one ripple, not one wave, not one low spot, not one high spot. That's what we want. Let's so keep going with that 220. It's a firm sanding block. And that's what you get right there. You know, I've, got, I've kind of got a habit of this my too, myself, you know. Uh, you get an airplane almost finished, and and uh, you've been priming, man. You want to get it painted, and you just go ahead and paint it when you know deep down inside it needs a little more primer work. But that just, you listen to this guy instead of this guy. You know, and uh, just, uh, just a little bit more, and you get that. You know, I've seen some... Seen this old boy one time. I don't even know his name, so I can't even mention the name. This ain't to knock him or anything. But he built some of the coolest airplanes you've ever seen. I mean, to see these things in the air, they look like authentic German warbirds. I mean, they really look good. And I've seen him at some big meets. And uh, he lands these things and you go look at them. And I, th I don't even think he primes anything. I think he slops his glass on and paints it. <laughs> you know, but you stand 50 foot away and that airplane just looks good. But you get up close to it and it was just unreal, you know. And I just, you know, you just got to stop and... Slow down and look at that part, man, and say, Bob's right, I need to hit that with 220 one more time. Then you start making it shiny. And man, your paint jobs will come out so much better. You know, it won't take as much paint. And, uh, you know, because I've seen some paint jobs too where guys just go way too much paint. Just, just way too much. And uh, he ends up looks and looking bad, but that right there is what you're trying for. That right there, you get that like that, and it don't take very much paint, and you got an awesome looking part. Let's remember that on that next paint job. But we're running out of time. We heard that alarm clock, so we'll see you back in the shop with some 